Fred here, welcome back to the Geek Obsession channel, your Mr. Rogers of the gun channels. In this episode, I will be doing a channel update, and I will also be talking about the Tactical Forum, something that Mr. Condor 5x5 does for the gun community, which is absolutely extraordinary and should be appreciated by everybody in the gun community. So let's go ahead and acknowledge the updates first. This is the NC Star laser sight that I have got back from NC Star from a repair I sent in. One that you saw a couple of videos ago that stopped working after a single shot. I went ahead and returned it and they got it back to me rather quickly and they just replaced it and they replaced it with a functioning one which I appreciate and I have beat it against the desk a couple of times and against my fist a couple of times and it seems to be holding up to very minor jarring we'll stick this on the gun sometime in the near future and make sure that it functions and, and works properly next I want to talk about um, Beretta. As you know there is a Beretta Neos recall and it's because of a problem with the firing pin. It can fire when you're taking it off safety or maybe some other um, thing. I'm not positive you should go to the Beretta website or, or search for Beretta Neos recall and get the specifics from them not from me because if I make a mistake I don't want to be held liable. Anyway I went ahead and called um, Beretta and you know you, you call their number and it says press 4 for uh, Neos recall or no actually well, let me get this straight I called them up and in the recording it said to dial another number for the recall so I go ahead and I dial the other number and it, it sounds like the same recording except they say press 4 for Neos recall and I press the button and it just recycles the same um, threat matrix of you know press this number so I got into a loop so so much for bread of service and support over their phones I was not impressed so I mean I tried that twice to make sure I didn't screw up and uh, you end up in a loop that you know you just keep on getting booted back and you never actually talk to somebody so I went ahead and just pressed zero and that got me somebody so that somebody said that um, you have to, absolutely have to return it to get repaired even though it's just a firing pin. And there, there's some ambiguities here about what they're talking about as far as whether it really has to be sent in or not because of the parts that need to get replaced. Uh, one part of their, I think in their website it says, oh it's more than just a firing pin. However, when I spoke to the service person, it was just a firing pin and it's a liability thing that it has to be sent in. So, I don't know why they have to, one of those things is lying or, or misinformed. I'm not sure what the issue is, or maybe they're just trying to um, not want to argue with anybody and just want to have the gun returned. So, now the bad thing about it all is you have to have them come pick it up at your house. You can't you know, have them send you a pre-done label and stick it on your own box and send it via UPS or whatever. And they're saying, no, they can't do that because of liability. Again, the big liability word. And I, I think that's a bunch of BS because I know Ruger, which I've returned guns to tr three times total. I like Ruger, though. But I've returned three times in my lifetime to Ruger. And they just have you print up a shipping label that they pay for. You just go on the interweb and get it and print it and stick it on there. And... You bring it to a UPS place or somewhere and you send it. So what, what this means is I have to take off a day to meet with the UPS guy at my door and give it to him. Or Fed, <clears throat> FedEx or whoever. So I don't like that. And it's probably going to be a while before I send it in now because of that inconvenience. They're not going to pay me for taking a day off from work, are they? So pretty screwed up. My my opinion even though I know they're trying to cover their butt liability wise whatever you want to call it I'm not happy about it so 
enough with the complaining. I know Mr. Rogers wouldn't complain. He'd just be all rosy and happy. So let me get back to rosy and happy. The um, gun for the tactical. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in. I don't get the tactical forums, which is done by Condor Five by Five, has honored me uh, as one of the channels being featured for the next two weeks. And along with the Gear Obsession channel are 15 other channels that I would like to give a shout out to. Because I don't want you to miss out on any of these other really good channels. Most of these I'm familiar with. Some I'm going to be discovering over the next couple of days. And I highly encourage that uh, everybody out there check all these out. Because I, I know that all the channels that are featured on Tactical Forum are pretty, pretty good. So, I'm going to go down the list, and I'll also put links below to all these channels to make it easy on you. And I'll also uh, put the name right down here as I pronounce them to the best of my ability to you. Um, Captain Burtz. Chanderson1. Desert Knife Guru. Doc Tac Dad. Eculites, Firearms Rescue, Jeep Cat, Miller USAF, probably US Air Force, it is, um, Mr. 45 Bullet, Mr. Wheelie 19, Patriot 36, this is either Rod Rich or Rogue Rich. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names. I, I really apologize beforehand. Um, sailing Manual. The Haas USMC. That's probably U.S. Marine Corps. And XX Frankenstein XX. I um, hope it's not a triple or a, a X-rated uh, channel. I kind of doubt it. But... Uh, I'm familiar with about half of these channels, and I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of them. Um, but I can tell by the ones that I know, um, this, this is a good group. These are all good channels, and again, I highly recommend that you check them out. So, um, I, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this episode. I know it's just an update and a, and a shout-out. I'm sort of just ramping down during the holidays. Got a lot going on. And, uh, you know, after the holidays, I'll wrap things back up and, and try to bring all the new, cutting-edge, awesome stuff that I always bring to you. <laughs> I'm not the channel for that. I just, you're here to discover with me things, and you know, as far as guns and knives are concerned. That's what I'm here for, to sort of share my hobby. Um, and as I learn things, you come and learn them with me. So won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Thank you to all you subscribers, viewers, friends. I really and always appreciate you. And have a happy holiday. Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. Your Mr. Rogers of the 